Welcome everyone to the Plains in Jordan-Hare Stadium, home of the Auburn Tigers, where telling someone War Eagle is just as common as saying hello. Today, a couple of SEC teams get ready to square off in what ought to be an old-fashioned slobber knocker. As we'll see, the Arkansas Razorbacks taking on the Auburn Tigers. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Auburn will kick off to get us underway. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. So the Arkansas Razorbacks offense will start this game off. And here he comes, a man who epitomizes the phrase, the tight end's always open, David. And yes, he is, Reese. And it's so cool. The tight end position now has evolved so much. You can move him all over the field, and you can really highlight a guy of his ability. Too big for safeties to cover and too fast for linebackers to cover. This is a weapon they've got to take advantage of. This proficiency in the passing game can take you back to yesteryear. One of the great quarterbacks in Arkansas history, Joe Ferguson. Yeah, just slinging the pill. Just being able to, being able to provide balance, being able to attack down the field, get people out of the box and, and not be predictable. That's a really good job by this quarterback. Well, the linebacker showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. This crowd, full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That defense is about getting off the football. And when that defensive line can be disruptive, get in the backfield right away and mess up those pullers' actions on those counter plays, it can be really advantageous for the defense. Great job by the defense being hyperactive. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Caught in the backfield, it's Armstrong. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. On a big third down, love the discipline by the defense there. You've got everybody with their eyes on the quarterback, rallying to the football, showing good speed on D. Nice tackle. Love the team defense. And the Razorbacks will send out the punt unit. Looks as if they might have a little something going there, but they'll have to kick it away. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. The Tigers offense will get the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Brown wants to pass. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. And this is one of the things that makes this defense so tricky is they've got incredible speed at the inside linebacker position. Not only can they go sideline to sideline and run east-west, but they can run downhill on blitzes and they can get to your quarterback. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat and down he goes again. Man, you can't draw it up any better than that. First possession, force a third down. You want to shut the home crowd up, sack the quarterback, create some momentum. Now you're getting the football back to your offense, probably with great field position. Auburn sends out the punting unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. 
They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They go to the draw. Stopped at the 47-yard line, a 10-yard gain, and they'll move the markers. Well, he shows you his speed and his power on that run. As far as I can think back to, Arkansas football always comes down to being able to run the football on offense. It's about grinding and wearing the opponent down. They always seem to be able to recruit outstanding athletes at that position. This guy is no different. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Grabbed over the middle. It's Armstrong. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Yeah, and what a nice job seeing it, reacting, and throwing it. When you run these RPOs, you want to read the defense really quickly. Is he playing run? Okay, boom. I'm going to throw the slant right behind him. Nice job by the QB. The Razorbacks are flying down the field. Wide receiver shows motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. He's off to the races. Stopped at the three, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. And you see so many of these plays now in today's football. Wide receiver coming in motion, and the quarterback catches it, just flips it forward. That's a completed pass. Uh, you see the big plays where it just lets him get on the edge really, really quickly. And if he drops the football coming in motion, it's just an incomplete pass. So these plays are getting big plays with really no risk. Pushes toward the goal line. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, what a great job by the defense. you got to understand, it's physical time, right? They want to run the football when they start getting inside the five. Nice job getting penetration, getting the tackle for the loss. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll pull it on the read. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. It doesn't matter what run play you have called if you're running it inside or outside. If the defense gets penetration, everything is done. And you saw it on that play right there. Great job by the team. It's still third and goal. Looking downfield, it's green. Got it! He gets it in! Touchdown, Razorbacks! And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. That touchdown drive covered 61 yards. And they close the deal with the 7-yarder for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. It's Jackson. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Makes the grab. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Throwing the comeback looks like such a simple throw, but the timing is so important. And as a quarterback, man, this is all about trusting your guy. You know exactly where he's going to sit it down. You anticipate it. You throw it. You know he's going to come back and make that play for you. 
They'll throw it on first down. That's caught. It's Brown. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Quarterback and receiver on the same page there on the curl route. Nice job by the receiver finding the soft spot in zone and just settling down, making that throw a whole bunch easier. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The give from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They'll run it from the gun. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Brown will throw it. Fires to the wideout. Working the middle. And a big time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets it to the 40. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out. Working on those critical down and distances. Third down. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. Looking to go up top on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Lewis. That's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. And now on second down for this offense. Here's the handoff. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Auburn people love to recite their creed, and I think somewhere in there, it's you should run the football well. <laughs> That's definitely a part of their blueprint. Every championship team, every great Auburn team, starts with the big guys up front, paving the way, running the football, establishing that first will make the Auburn fan base proud. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Shakes off the defender. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Dances away from one. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Fourth and short? I already called my third down play knowing I was going for it on fourth down. So you better believe I got the play locked and loaded. We're going for it on fourth down. This would likely be a chip shot for the field goal kicker, but they want the touchdown instead. They'll go for it on fourth down. The incomplete pass ends a frustrating series, and they turn it over on downs. The run from the shotgun. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. On the run, it's Jackson. Can't get him to the ground. Moves up to the 34-yard line, give him a 10-yard pickup. That's the end of the quarter, and Arkansas has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we played one period. They've 
switched ends of the field and we're ready to get things started here in the second. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Quarterback on the keeper. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. The option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker. You can tell. Locked in on the quarterback. Chases him down. Gets to him. Not only gets to him. Doesn't let him break the tackle. Gets him on the ground. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And you really can't be called the Hogs if you're not willing to grind it out in the dirt. Yeah, and I love calling the offensive linemen the Hog Mollies. And Arkansas, in that beautiful state, you're going to find a bunch of big, strong individuals. And the identity of that team is usually built on those guys up front. Off the play fake on first down. He wants to take the top off, and it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there. Offensive players know where the ball is going. Defensive players don't. Great job by the DB adjusting to the football, seeing it, playing the wide receiver, and making sure he can't catch the football. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. Now it's just going to be a passing game. Back to throw. It's green. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's cut. That's how you blow up the screen pass up here on defense. You got to hit the quarterback fast to force the incompletion. And the Razorbacks will line up to punt it away. This will be a second time they've had to kick it away. And that is an excellent punt as it lands out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. From the gun, give on the inside. Finds just a bit of room. He'll pick up a couple to the 11. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Throws to the wideout. Finds a man by himself. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And he had to go a long way to reel that ball. He started off way on the right, across the entire defense, made the catch on the other side of the field. There's an example of how this offense can really attack every corner of the football field. Gives it to the back on the draw. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They'll run it. Makes his man miss. Knocked down at the 47. It's a five-yard gain and enough to move the chains. The Tigers, dating to the days of Shook Jordan and Pat Dye, love to keep the ball on the ground. And the stadium goes nuts and the eagle flies and everybody's happy. Run the football, win football games. It's good times on the plains. Off play action on first down. Fires downfield. It's caught downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. When you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell like you're going deep, and that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running deep down the field. So he got the corner to turn his hips, turn his shoulders, and then the receiver was able to just pivot around and make it an easy pass and catch. 
Cobb sliding there as he picks up one to the 29. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Brown wants to pass. Finds a soft spot in the middle. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. Snagged in the middle. It's Burton. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, there's a great job by the offense. Hey, you see where the holes in the zone are? Just sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. He'll do it himself. And that's a live ball behind the line. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. They were rolling with the option, and the quarterback kept it, but he couldn't hang on to the football. I'm impressed with this defense. They are locked in and defending the option right now. Guys are playing assignment football, and they're just doing a great job with their eye discipline. They saw the QB pull that ball. They knew exactly who had it. They got to him and created the turnover. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. They'll try the right side. Still running at the 40. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got a right route. Okay, I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We'll play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carry. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intention. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Unloads it left. It's in! Complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Ooh, that's one of those where you're breathing a big sigh of relief. That ball could have been intercepted, and worse, could have been intercepted and housed, but offense caught a little bit of a break. Nice play by the defense, but the offense, glad to punt in this situation if they want to. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the returner will be dragged down. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Ball security going to be paramount this time, Jesse. Yeah, and, and sense of urgency, too. They're trailing in this game right now. The turnover wasn't great. So, David, they really got to be able to put something positive together on this drive. Put something positive together. Be aggressive, but don't be reckless. Can't have any more of those turnovers. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Fast motion from the offense. They'll go right back to it. And the Tigers have a first down. Here's a rich tradition of running the football at Auburn. James Brooks, Joe Cribbs, 
Bo Jackson, Cadillac Williams, Ronnie Brown. They love to find a tough running back to feed the rock. Such great history, such great lineage of ground and pound and great athletes. And it's just a physical mindset of Auburn. And they're, they're always that team that wants to run the football. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. On the ground, it's Cobb. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, a lot of times when you blitz that linebacker, it's about timing. You don't show your hand, and he gets up to the line of scrimmage, gets right through the line, and makes the tackle for a loss. And as soon as the running back gets the football, he's got a face full of linebacker. Not much you can do there. Like, you got to have a little better block. You got to identify that blitz a little bit faster by the offensive line. The play action fake. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Well, they tried to catch the defense napping. They're third and short on their own side of the 50, and everyone's thinking run. They go past, but the defense wasn't fooled, so the QBs just got to throw that one away. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. You'll call for the fair catch here. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll keep it himself. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? The Razorbacks send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Line getting set on second down. Brown will throw it. Gets it out fast. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. And I love working the slot receivers. And you see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot, maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense for sure. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Caught near the sticks, it's Brown. That'll get the job done and move the chains and they'll mark the ball at the 45. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Caught the shotgun snap and right away rifled it out of his hands like he was turning too. That was beautiful. The Tigers with the first and 10. He wants to throw. They're bringing heat. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. He picks it up, still on his feet. Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well. And they're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on.
clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. They'll go to the ground. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. Auburn sends out the punting unit. They'll look to pin him deep. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse. And if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown or get a field. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. It's first and 10 from the 31. Looking to move it through the air. Setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Great job, too, by the QB there. Holding the ball as long as possible, allowing the pass rush to get upfield, and at the very last second, getting it to his guide so that he can go get the first down. Can't hold on. He had it right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later, and you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They stop him after a short game, probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. And the Razorbacks will bring the punt team onto the field. Running it back, it's Scott. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Handoff to the lone back. Nice move there. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, that's why this running game can be so dynamic. This guy is special when he has the football in his hands. He can make people miss, he can run with power, and he also has speed. You saw it on that last play. And it's first down, but they'll try the field goal in the closing seconds of the first half. And the try is no good. And they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Trying to find his man on first down. Throws toward the end zone. It's incomplete, and they tried to finish this quarter with a bang and couldn't quite connect. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, Yeoman's work in Auburn, Alabama so far, and welcome into the halftime report. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? 
I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Pat Dye Field in Jordan-Hare. The Razorbacks will line up to kick off and start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic than they get him on the ground at the 20. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Auburn to the line in a hurry. It's a draw. Runs through a tackle. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And they just kind of sneak that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped a run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. The back goes in motion. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple of yards there. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Power football with the run. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. Here on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Nice job to pick up the first down and they'll spot it at the 42. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll leave it with him. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play. Able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. A third and long coming up here. Brown wants to pass. Throws to the tight end. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. I got to be honest, I thought this tight end was going to have a much bigger role in this game. They wanted to get him the football early and often, but after that drop here in the second half, he still doesn't have a catch. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He says he can kick one from 75, but here he's going to need just 58 of them. And it's good from 58 yards out. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 
surprised that he did it with ease. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. For this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. And the defense comes up with the sacks. And this defense has been dialed in all day. Really, really good job. This offense is going to have to find something different, do something to try to stretch this D and make them feel uncomfortable. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. He's going to fire deep. It's complete. A huge pickup. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. And the Razorbacks moving quickly to the line. Comes out throwing on first down. Quickly out to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him too. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. The give to the back. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. To the air. It's Green. Looking down the middle. Lost the defense. He's wide open. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, the tight end's trying to work the middle of the field. Nobody even close to him in coverage. It's not going to get any easier than that for the quarterback. That's an easy first down. It is getting loud as this crowd tries to help its defense. Wants to throw on first down. He's got it on the move. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. That's why the good Lord invented tight ends, isn't it, David? Get a good pickup on first down, open up the entire play. And it just makes life so easy on quarterbacks. I mean, you've got these guys that are so gifted athletically that you can do everything with them. They're like overgrown wide receivers and now understanding zones and how to attack them. It's just unbelievable when you've got these kind of big athletes. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Wants to throw on third down. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas! And this quarterback really does a great job of seeing the defense and seeing what kind of coverage they're in. And I think when this offense goes empty and they spread the defense out, it just makes it so much more simple for the QB to see what the defense is doing pre-snap and then post-snap. You can tell he's playing in a great rhythm right now because he's seeing the field 
and these empty sets are really helping him out. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-3. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. Caught behind the line, it's Brown. Wrestled down at the 32 after a pickup of five. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Brown will throw it. Fires to the big fella. And he might be known for one fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. Off the play fake. He'll take a deep shot here. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Tigers. A great catch and run for six. Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down. This is a great start to get back to this ball game. They're going to go ahead and go for two here and try to make it a field goal game. From the gun, he'll try to throw. And that one is picked off in the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Sategna. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. He'll pull it on the read. Gets it past the marker. Really nice game. Gets it out across the 20. It'll be a first down at the 22. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Going with the counter play here. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down in second and six. To the ground with the back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Maybe that stop shows this defense 
tightening up, especially in the run game. The offense, frankly, they've been able to do whatever they want to do. They just handed the ball off. This guy's having success left and right. No sir, no boss. Get it together. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. Caught over the middle. It's Jackson. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Well, that was a dart right there. He's going to give Arkansas a chance because in the old days in the SEC, you had to run the football if you were going to win championships. Today, you better be able to get it done through the air. When you think of all the great play callers in this league and all the Heisman Trophy winners this league has seen at the QP position in recent years, you better be able to do it throwing the ball. This guy, I think, gives Arkansas a chance with his arm. Good timing on the quick out. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. That looks like a real simple play by the wide receiver, but give him a ton of credit. That was an excellent route. He never telegraphed that he was breaking to the outside. Kept his eyes downfield, so when he cuts, he's able to get maximum separation from the defender, and that's why that play is successful. Shows him the stiff arm. Stop is made at the 36, but he picked up 10 on that one and has a fresh set of downs. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance and, and right here just choose up another first down gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it right now. He's doing some damage on this defense. Through his hands and incomplete. He normally makes that catch every time in second down. They're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive. Keeps it on the bootleg. The short hands. It's the Tegna. Oh, look out. There he goes. He'll be brought down at the three-yard line. An explosive play in the passing game as him on the doorstep. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. The Razorbacks line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Razorbacks! These guys just score from anywhere out there. After that drive, it sure looks that way. And that's what separates really good offenses from great offenses. When you're backed up in a bad position and you can still fight your way out and go get you a touchdown, that's a great drive by the offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And after the extra point, they're on top by 12. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. The offense set for a first down play. Brown wants to pass. Looking left. A strike downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Touch pass on the rod. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. 
got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. Tackled, but he has a first down. And on the heels of that last big play now, you'd love to keep the momentum going and score quick. How about staying aggressive? Try to throw this thing into the end zone. You need to get the ball back, and you need to save as much time as you can. Auburn lines up quickly. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. Throws to the back. This time on target. All the way down to the 25-yard line. They move the sticks. It's first down. And a great job by the QB. Finding the running back. Get him the football where he can do some damage after the catch. And most importantly, get the first down. Auburn ready to go back to work after getting another first down. On the move, it's Hunter. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks it down. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Give to the running back. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Not so fast. I think it's going to be automatic, second and short. They're just going to turn around and hand it off. But how about the penetration up front defensively shutting that play down? Yeah, and if your defense wants to be aggressive, well, that's fine. Third and short, I still got fourth down as well. So don't be afraid to be aggressive on those and play action because defense a lot of times really expects run. Then it could take some big shots and man coverage down the field. Well, the defense got the stop there on third and one. Let's see if they can do it again here on fourth and inches, then. I just got to find a way to fall forward, be physical. We work on this all week. You know you're going for it on fourth down. And they're going to send out the field goal unit and take the offense off the field. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and trot his field goal team out there, and his field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Sategna. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. The give to the tailback. On the move in the 30. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. And the Razorbacks racing to the line in the hurry up. Got it behind the line. It's Armstrong. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you can tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that one. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. And after taking a loss on that last run, a little bit of pressure right now for the
this offense. On their own side of the field, they've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but this is a critical third down that they have to convert. They don't want to give the ball back and put the pressure on their own defense. And the misconnection on third down. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football, maybe take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. The Razorbacks will punt this one away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Wide out in motion. They'll try the run. And this one will be stopped for no gain. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Here on third down for this offense. Quarterback on the keeper. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious the defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Out of the gun, the inside give. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. Brown will throw it. Got the quick pass. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. Well, trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter, their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page with the court. Auburn going to work with another first down. The inside handoff. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Burton. They'll wrestle it down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the change to measure this one. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. They've already converted a couple of times on third down. Now they'll try to push it forward a couple of inches to the ground to try to pick up the first. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter and two three four yard games aren't going to get it done you've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game from the 30 yard line on first down he'll do it himself 
Makes it past the marker. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Design quarterback runs. There's so many of them, so many ways to do it. But either way, it's about getting that extra blocker and getting a dynamic athlete. These quarterbacks are all dynamic athletes. They're basically running backs now playing quarterback, trying to get them in space. And you can see he does the rest. He can chew up those yards quick, fast, and in a hurry. Gets it out quickly. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. And that's why they got to keep running the football, man, because play action is going to be a big part of this game plan. You've got to get this tight end over the middle of the field vertically and give him an opportunity because you just saw how dangerous he is after the catch. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Brown wants to pass. He's got it. And he'll step out of bounds just short of the goal line. Almost a touchdown, but not in there yet. What a great job outside working that route. Not only did he get to the sticks to make sure he got the first down, but also was able to get himself out of bounds to stop the clock. You could not do that any better in a two-minute situation. Trying to bully their way in. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. And the Tigers come to the line in the hurry-up. On second down, he'll let it fly. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. I love the coverage on defense. In the red zone, everyone's got their eyes on the quarterback, and they're flying to the football, and you saw that there on the incompletion. And they'll come to the line and try to draw a little bit closer on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after it. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. He got it. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll bring it out. It's Sategna. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Got three on first down in second and seven. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. At this point, the defense has little choice but to sell out to stop the run on second and seven. Smart move to keep it on the ground. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. He breaks a tackle. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And the Razorbacks will call on their punt team. Looking for a block, it's Scott. Really explosive when he gets his hands on the ball and he found a couple of crevices and made a nice game before being run out of bounds. Going up top on first down. 
He looks that one in nicely. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Personal foul. That was right on the borderline. You want to make that quarterback feel you, but the official thought it was a little too much, the roughing the passer penalty. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Brown will throw it. Unleashes to the end zone. And the pass is picked off. That might be the nail in the coffin, fellas. This offense, they're trying to get back in the game. You're having to be aggressive. You're now going to have to start taking chances. An errant throw ends up in the hands of the defense, and I think that's all she wrote. Offense set on first down. And the quarterback takes a knee. 